What up, everybody? It's Stephen here from Monta Fame, and we are back with another video, man. It is a beautiful day today, and we're riding out in the Durango because we're heading back to Intrac Tire because it's time to put the Hellcat on E, baby. It's time to put it on E85. So we meeting up over here with Team Hellcat because he is going to transition the car or convert the car to full E85, baby. And that's what we're going to do today, man. It's not as easy as you may think. So let's jump into it. I'll show you how. Let's go. So, we're here. We're here strapping the car down, getting the car ready, so that this way we could actually tune it for E85. Now, to be honest with you, uh, Team Hellcat told me, hey Stefan, before you take the car, why don't you let them run it on the dyno for like 50 miles to make sure everything is good. You know, we just replaced the motor and all that stuff, so, you know, let me make sure everything is good, all the temperatures are right, cool. Anyway, this is why it pays to not be impatient. I was very impatient and uh, I was like, ah, I'll test the car on the street, it'll be fine. <laughs> so took the car home, driving, no problems, no issues. Car was driving pretty good. Like every once in a while I was noticing like a little pup, like a little sputter, like, but I attributed that to the car sitting, you know, for so long and every, just getting everything in, you know what I'm saying? And everything is new. Well, the next step was, okay, um, let me go fill it up with E85 because the car is set up for E85. I got the dual pumps. I got the four innovations fuel rails. I got the FIC 1200 injectors. FIC hit me up. Uh, got those injectors in there. So the car is ready in terms of mechanically for E85. So filled it up to the brim full tank E85, driving out the gas station, driving fine. As soon as that E85 hit the fuel lines the right way, yo, the car just was like, nah, son. Nah, son, what you doing, son? I'm not ready for this yet. Anyway, uh, driving off the car, like up the street started bucking, like whoop, 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 like completely trying to shut itself down. Uh, I was able to limp the car home from the E85 station, which is like 20 minutes, 25 minutes from my house. Um, I was able to get the car home. It must have had a little bit of regular fuel still left in the system. But by the time I got it home, like around the corner from my house, bro, the car just stopped. Wouldn't go no more. Um, tried to start it, wouldn't start, nothing. So I end up, once again, the Durango comes to save the day. End up grabbing the Durango, strapping up this, pulling it around the corner to my house. And the next morning, I had to do this. There she blows. Switch to E85, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Mm -hmm. That's right, ended up on a tow truck. <laughs> exactly where Team Hellcat said he didn't want me to end up because don't take the car too soon, make sure everything is the rest. So, lesson to all of you learn from me, don't rush it, don't rush the process. Just follow the process. It'll save you time, headache, and money. And you won't end up like me. What I did do was, though, to help get the car in the tow truck, I mixed in, I, I let the car idle. I, I was able to get it to idle on the E85. Um, Team Hellcat sent me a tune, a bass tune, an E85 tune that was enough to get the car to idle. So the car was able to idle and sit and run. So I let it run for like six hours just to make sure cooling is good and everything and to burn out as much E85 as possible because I added in five gallons of 93 and with adding in the 93, it helped enough that the car was able to move around under its own power. So right now it's about a mix of E85 and 93 half-half. We're gonna try to burn as much of that as possible out because we're gonna fill it back up with E85 again 
because uh, Team Hellcat is about to tune it for E85. And we should be absolutely good to go. Anyway, that's what's up. That's what we're doing. Let's jump into it. Come on. My man working that magic right now. Y'all see it? Working that magic, baby. Hold on, I don't want to show y'all too much. Let me come from this angle so y'all can't see. <laughs> All right, so there you see it, guys. Full E85 tune, about to get loaded in now. And uh, we're going to see what's up. We thinking we may have an issue, though, with the, uh, the fuel pumps. The, they're not getting enough voltage, it seems like. So we're still trying to chase down that issue, too. So working against a couple things. Whenever you start to change so much, you start to run into issues. I mean, we changed a lot in this setup. Injectors, fuel pumps, fuel rails, uh, ported blower now. Um, you know, we changed a few things, upper, lower, instead of just upper. So when you change so much at once, there's a few things you're chasing down, but we'll get it, we'll get it. Fuel pump don't work? No, I'll get the fuel pump. Bro, that just made 843 without proper fueling. And a mix of E85 and 93, half and half. And it made 843, not even carrying it out to red line. Yo, this is gonna make a lot of power, bro. A lot of power. It's gonna make some power. Yo, y'all know what's even crazier? Yo, this is 6,000 RPMs. He let off at 50, that's about 5,800 RPM, bro. Yeah, 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 look. Engine RPMs, 5,800. So it was, it was a, wow, that's crit. So I should let off at about 57, and then this is letting off, right? So that's letting off at about 57. And that's no fuel. So we gotta go back through the fuel pumps and see why the second pump is not coming on, it's not engaging. Uh, so we gotta figure all this out. So that's what's gonna happen. That's what's about to happen right now. We're gonna figure out the fuel system. And once we figure out the fuel system, then we'll be able to push it. You think we're getting bell flip? Yeah, I think we're getting some bell why flip. You think, why you think we're getting bell flip? Because the map sensor is kind of declining with RPM. Okay. We got a grip tech on, so we can change the belt. Yeah. That's no problem. That's no problem. Jesus Christ, brother. 
So, not full fuel. Not full fuel. Not full taking out the RPM. Nope. Like, Jesus Christ. 5,000 and change RPM and we made about 850, 840. <laughs> And we go all the way to 6900. And 847 torque. Woo! <laughs> Did you guys hear that blower screaming? Yo, it was screaming, bro. Who ported it for you? Jokers. Jokers did they think, man. That's I ain't gonna lie. That's Jokers performing, did nice port work on it. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna, we gonna get it together, man. We gonna get it together. This is building a car, though, guys. It doesn't happen like day one. As soon as you're done building it, it works. That does it. You gotta, you gotta work through things. So we working through it right now. Hopefully we get it worked out, you know, if not today, tomorrow, whatever. But let's rephrase that. Steph went to the shop, removed it from the shop. Before it was, I said that, I said that. Listen, I told y'all that I took the car from the shop too early. Nobody listens to Eric. I said that. I said that to y'all. Y'all could vouch for me that I did say that early in the video. So he's robbing from baby girl's lunchtime with me to come to Intrac to verify what's going on with the truck. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you too, <laughs> Yo, we'll get it done, bro. We'll All get right, it done. Let's get it done. Yo, this, this is why you need a team Hellcat in your life, though. You need a team Hellcat in your life that, yo, bro, when I took the call, he was like, Stephen, what the f are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I just want to see. You know, I just want to see. He's like, I don't want the car to end up on a tow truck. Where did the car end up? <laughs> on a tow truck. <laughs> It's all good though, we gonna get it, yo. Shit is gonna be, it's gonna make some power though, for real, for real. Definitely 900 plus. Well over 900, if it's already making 850. No problem. <laughs> well guys, unfortunately for the day, we ran out of time, man. We had to call it a day and uh, get back to it tomorrow to see if the fuel pumps are running correctly so we can get some more pulls in. We did some tests, but it's a little hot in the shop and stuff, so um, Team Hellcat said that it's a little hard to tell what's going on. And plus, like I said, it's, it's a Friday, and nobody's wanting to stay late in the shop on a Friday. So, therefore, we'll be back at it probably tomorrow or so, or maybe right after the weekend, we'll be back at it, and we'll get things sorted out, man. But I am dumb excited. <laughs> I am super excited. I've been wanting a car like this for a while so to have it and to build it now did my hands do it no but my know-how my relationships and you know a few dollars whatever with those things anything is possible so um we're getting it done man we're getting it done and we're getting it done so that we can provide the best automotive youtube content out there for those of you who really enjoy modified cars racing modified cars and just you know world domination because that's what's next you guys have seen my videos of hellcat versus the world first stock and then modded and bro the crazy part is the car used to make 850 on like kill kill you know what i mean we talking about 250 upper uh, race gas all the above it was making 850 this car just made 850 basically 850 wheel horsepower and basically 850 torque Fucking around excuse my language just messing around it just made that so i encourage you now putting your estimates of what you think the Hellcat is going to make with uh, once we get it all dialed in, once we get full fuel, and we plan on spinning this baby up to about 7,000 RPMs because we are adding in um, valve springs, stiffer valve springs, and push rods so that this way it can handle the higher RPM without getting valve float, without worrying about dropping a valve or anything like that or valve springs breaking. So we will be throwing those in too. In addition to that, what we haven't added that we have already, thanks to uh, Grantinelli, we have the 105 millimeter throttle body. Right now, that's the stock throttle body that's on there. So we still got to throw the 105 millimeter throttle body on there. And we still got to go full E85. Remember, it's half half right now. So it's about E40 right now. It's not even full E85. So go ahead and put your guesses in, man, what you think the Hellcat is going to make once we get it all dialed in my estimate is we need a you know a couple more days install the throttle body install the valve springs install the push rods 
you know, do all of that type of stuff, get all of that stuff out of the way now. So that when I hit the streets, I'm really hitting the streets, man. God, I'm so excited. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. But until the next one, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame and in this We Out, We Out t-shirt. Available right now at modtofame.com. M-O-D number two, F-A-M-E dot com. That's it, bruh. Let's call it a wrap.